Good morning. Uh, we're going to like to show you something new we just built. It's a, one of the uh, specialty trailers. Uh, we thought we'd put it online. Everybody take a look at it, and some of our fire people will certainly be interested in it. Uh, this is a new 34-foot gooseneck trailer that is set up to be a fireman's rehab trailer, and uh, it's it's a uh, contains a cooling area for the firemen where they can get oxygen. It uh, has two bathrooms in it that are air conditioned and heated. It has a oxygen feed for the oxygen mask. It also has a compressed air station for the backpacks. So we're gonna run you around and give you a little look at what they are and what's here and uh, we'll take off here right now. Up top you see there are four 14 foot by 10 foot electric awnings. They all come out, they all go back in their cases, all on a button. Basically, our trailer starts, we've opened this door for you. We've got a 20K diesel generator up in the front, which runs all the components of the trailer. We also have a vented room here to take the heat out. We have up here all of the uh, batteries and things that operate uh, different things to the trailer, the lighting and the recharging is all up in the nose. As you come this way, we have the light systems that telescope up, which you can see is they strictly turn these and these take off, go right on up in whichever way they want. So these are kind of really nice lighting systems. Your fill for your generator, your tank is here for your diesel generator, your dolly box is here, and as you can see, we have LED lighting underneath all the awnings and we have big night uh, lights that are recessed into the trailer on all four corners. The first room we come to here, this is the room that operates and controls everything and you can see in here we have in this room the machine here is where, you're, where you're, all of your compressed air tanks are refilled. The backpacks the firemen have on their back, they slide them in these tubes you see to the outside the fireman can come out of a fire, needing a new tube of compressed air, grab it from that side, pull it out, put his empty up, and then the man who runs the trailer here will get it all refilled and back in the slot for a, the next person. So we also have our oxygen bottle here that feeds into our cool room, which we'll show you when we get there. Everything in this trailer is operated from this area. I'll open the panel door for you, but everything is labeled and everything is operated from right here. They're, 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 they're red lights, they're caution lights, and everything is controlled from in here. The, this trailer has a four-point electric jack system with self-leveling. Once you park it, you hit the self-level, it comes down, levels the trailer up uh -oh, automatically. And so basically everything is controlled out of this room. This room is air-conditioned and heated. The, the next the next area we have here is one of the bathrooms. You know, a fireman have zero, you know, uh, they have no facilities at all at a fire. So this gives them an AC bathroom along with a heat unit. So whatever temperature they're in, they got heat or cold, they have the facility. There's another bathroom right on the other side, back to back to this. So they have two of the bathrooms. The gauges on the side here is your all electronic. It tells you just how many gallons of water are in your tanks for your toilets and your sinks and everything. And here's is your water fill departments along with exterior plugs. And a lot of the time the firemen get into some acids or some smokes and they need to clean up. This department here gives them a, a system here which you have a shower system for chemical. They'll have all their different cleaners in the box. This is the shower system. They'll hang their curtain right around the rod system, be able to curtain in, get a shower in case they need it, and that's how it works. I'm going to shut this up. The seating inside are benches, and just to utilize the benches, we put the roll-up doors, and it's all toolbox or storage for whatever they want. There's four of these in the trailer for using all of the available space that we could get out of the trailer. Uh, the back. The back, we have another one of the doors, no, the lights that we, the same as the other side, telescopes up and turns. We also have a ladder system here that basically just pull this up 
lift the ladder, go up. There's an observation deck. The railings flip up and lock, flip down for travel. So they have an observation deck on top. Pick this up, put it back in, put the hook on it, and that's it. The big door here is going into the room. We'll give you an idea. Behind this door, we have a complete freezer door system. And the idea of that is that's your cool room. They don't use this as an entrance. They strictly use this as the carts that fit in here that they bring out of the trailer when they get to the fire. Their empty tanks can go in this or whatever. They, their jackets or whatever can hang on it. And when they get ready to leave, they pull them inside, lock them down, and shut that door and shut this. When they first get there, they dump all the carts out so they have room for the people once they start their rehab. Let's close it right back up. Oh, caught it on the other lock. Okay. That's that. All right. As we come on around, we got a little bit of a repeat here. Two more compartments. And here we have an opening. If you open this up, turn the latch, lift it. We have a bit of a, an area here which we have a sink that moves out, so they get water where it's their face, hands, whatever. And there's some electrical plugs in the back. They're going to set a coffee maker and a microwave here, and they'll pull that right on out. And everything's out here for sandwiches or snacks for long fires or whatever. Uh, they have a facility anyway. That goes there. That goes there. That's that. Alright, here we go. That's that. Now we're getting into our cold room. Let's walk in here and we'll show you what we got. Basically, this is a walk-in freezer. It has the coolant unit up at the top, the compressors on the roof. This is a long air handler. This unit we turned on here the other day for 45 minutes, took it to 23 degrees. So all the walls here are 6 inch insulated with closed foam. Uh, we gave them seating all the way down, cabinetry underneath here with the sliding doors, oxygen station here. You put the oxygen tree on, you set down your oxygen master here. The fellows can sit down on the bench, hook up a mask. In three minutes, they went out of here. They're starting to freeze. So back to the fire, all ready to go. If it's winter time, we do the opposite. We have a heating system here, a heating system lower on this side of the wall, and another heating system at the front of the track. So it's multi-purpose. It's insulated. It'll stay warm. We have a table up here in which we have an area with stacked water and this, free, this cooling here will keep that water ice cold. Behind the counter you've got your hot water heaters and all your pumps and everything under the counter. Another cabinet up at the top which is strictly a storage cabinet for whatever they want for first aid or whatever. You can see through the uh, has le one half inch Lexan glass sliders so you can see what's in there and it makes it pretty nice. Uh, we also put the fan system up here so you don't have to run the compressor, you can run air, if it's a nice day and you just want to move air, you can do it right here without turning on the whole system. And uh, lighting's in here, plugs are in here, there are air vents, you'll see down here, there's four of them in the trailer. They can open them to a point and always let streaming cool air out, relieve the pressure here and, and let the men walk up for air in their face for coolness outside. And that, uh, that pretty well covers it in here. This machine setting here is for the firemen if they have cell phones or whatever, it's a total recharging station for all them type of GPS phones or whatever they have. They just put them in here, plug them in, they got all the plugs and keeps everything charged up for communication. All right, there's another bathroom right here, same as the one on the other side, they're back to back. Let's move right on up. This is the other side of the control room. We talked about the air tanks. We have a plexiglass cover on here in which we just remove a couple screws, it pops off. So when you get to the fire, we don't want the tanks on the way on the road sliding around. So we cap both ends of the tank holders. But they're quick removal, and you get to the tanks and pull them right out, put the old ones in, and keep right on going. 
You also have another access to the generator room on this side. But uh, that's about what all she does. She's pretty well set up with about everything you, uh, I think the fire department would be very happy with these. This, unit, this trailer was purchased and will be delivered to St. Johns County here near Jacksonville. And we're actually delivering it tomorrow morning. So this is the first of its kind. Uh, we put a lot of time in this. We had a lot of input from some fire chiefs and some people in the business. And I think we got them what they were looking for. And we're gonna put this on the market very shortly. You'll see it out there uh, marketing to, uh, this, it, it, to all fire departments. It's a life-saving device for firemen. It's a thing they need.